Hi, I'm John Carruthers. I've been working on guitars for the last 45 years with most of the major manufacturers. I'm here today to show you how to set up your Stratocaster guitar. If you'd like to learn in greater detail some of the procedures that you've seen today, get a copy of my book, Teach Yourself Guitar Repair and Maintenance on Alfred Publishing. Uh, when making uh, setup adjustments, it's very important to follow an exact procedure. Uh, step one is that you need to adjust the truss rod first. This is a foundational adjustment. All the other adjustments are built off of that. The next step would be to adjust the action at the bridge. And finally, the last step would be to adjust the action at the nut. And then we could set the string length, which is also known as your intonation adjustment. So to start with, we would put a capo at the first fret because we need basically three hands and most humans only have two. So we put a capo right at the first fret and that holds the string for us and takes the place of one hand. And then we'll take the guitar in playing position because that best simulates the way that we want the adjustments to be. Then we need to get a feeler gauge. And in this case, we need 0.010 inches or 0.254 millimeters. We fret the string at where the neck meets the body and about halfway down the neck, usually around the seventh fret, we insert the feeler gauge if the gauge fits in and it touches the string and touches the fret but doesn't lift the string, then it's set perfectly. If we can move the string when we push on it with my index finger like I was doing here like this, then that means that there's some space and that we need to tighten the rod. You notice it actually has a little bit of extra play, like if I put my thumb here and I push it like this, you can actually see the string is moving and touching the feeler gauge so there's a gap. So I need to tighten up the truss rod. Now, on this guitar, to tighten it, I go clockwise. So I'm going to do it just a little bit, and then I'm going to recheck it. On most guitars, it's not, you know, really wise to move it a whole lot. And maybe like probably a quarter to half a turn is probably about the most that you need to move a rod. If it seems like it doesn't want to go, don't force it. You might want to take it to someone who has some experience and have them check it out. Because if you don't, you could actually snap the rod, and that would damage the neck and make your guitar maybe unplayable. Okay, so now. We've got the truss rod adjusted. We can take the capo off, and now we're ready to move to the next step, which would be setting the height at the bridge. 